So in 12, we've made a number of improvements to preset workflows. First of all, if I open up preset browser here, so the first one relates to how you work with cloud assets. So if I go to say animals here, let's pick a fish. So when you're dealing with um, uh, assets which are stored locally, you could either double click to load it, load it or, um, or you could drag and drop from the preset browser into the viewport. For, but for cloud assets, all you could do was double click. So you double click and it would download um, locally. It would still load it into the scene, but you could only double click. Um, now what you can do in 12 is actually drag and drop from cloud assets into Modo. So if I just drag from there to there, it will install it, install it locally and load it into the scene. So we've also added a badge to the cloud asset presets, which identifies which presets um, are on the cloud and which ones you've already downloaded. Um, and that's this uh, badge in the top right hand corner. So of this fish here, this is definitely on the cloud. If I double click to download it, you can see it's, it gets placed in my directory. If I go back to the cloud, you can see that that badge has disappeared. And we've also added or changed the um, info badge. So when you click on the uh, the information um, icon, it brings up um, a web view um, of the with, with containing details about the asset. Um, there, as you can see, there are quite a few bugs at the moment, and the the, uh, the thumbnail isn't updating. And at the moment, it's a palette, and it actually needs to be um, a popover uh, pointer. Um, but that's the, the general functionality. So, they, so we're getting a more of, more of a the kind of workflow that you would get when you were searching for presets um, on the share site. So one of the things that really used to annoy me about creating presets um, was the kind of roundabout way that you had to do it. So you always had to go to the file, you know, save item assembly preset, save environment preset. Um, or you would have to go to geometry, profile, save profile, so on and so forth. It was it was a little bit confused. So what we wanted to do is implement a drag and drop directly from Modo into the preset browser. So what we've done is implemented a drop server that does that. Um, and it's, it kind of recognizes what type of preset you want to create, which is really nice. So with this mesh here, if I want to create a mesh preset. I can just select it, drag it into a folder. And it then asks me, do I want to create a mesh preset, save a preset, uh, save a profile preset, or assembly preset, I want to save a preset, and it will save it for me. So if you want to create a profile preset, it's the same process. So here I have a curve, I just drag from the viewport, or you can drag from the item list into the folder, and this time I want to save a profile preset. When you do that, it pops up the options for you, and you just hit OK. If you want to create an item preset, then you just select the item and drag that in and save preset. For a material preset, then you just drag from the shader tree and for an assembly preset, you drag from the groups viewport. 